AI is not the big shiny robot coming and taking all of our jobs. It's reshaping the world of work, the world of business. It's changing the world. It can be used for great good and you can't afford to ignore it anymore. <laughs>for that in terms of an answer is really around upskilling. McKinsey put out some recent statistics and they talk about 73% of the high performing organizations say that they're going to upskill at least a third of their staff. So I think that's one thing is really sort of understanding, again, what's our objective as an organization? Do we have the right skills in-house or do we need to upskill some of our people? And how are we going to have this hybrid of internal and outsourcing some of that? It could be how is AI rechanging the world of marketing, sales, CX, all of which I cover in depth and thinking about the partners and the vendors that are out there and how you can start to you know, work collaboratively with them. And then finally, culture. It's really important to think about making sure that you communicate properly with your staff such that you have a um, staff that are on board, they understand the changes and that they feel that they're being properly communicated with so that they can be on board and help you make that project a success. Ethics is a huge topic at the moment. I've just come back from being all over uh, continental Europe, actually, doing keynotes in Amsterdam and other countries with uh, various legal councils. You know, for example, lawyers, chief legal counsel in organizations are having to train and advise their teams such that they don't, such, for example, their marketing teams don't breach and violate copyright and trademarks across the work they do in marketing or in HR. So it's such an important space. And I'm on the editorial board of the AI and Ethics Journal and also on the all-party parliamentary group for harnessing AI ethically. So I advise organisations... We talk about the EU Act and the various acts going through Parliament and in other countries, in Canada and North America. I've just been working in Toronto with uh, banks, Bank Canadian and US banks. So helping them understand bias, helping them understand the clear data set, helping them play a role in assisting the regulators to come up with the right kind of um, adoption. So we've got both the AI regulators and then we've got the the various organisations who are regulating banking or retail or medical. So those sorts of factors are really important. Privacy, consent, um, you know, not discriminating in terms of gender or people people being economically disadvantaged. So they're some of the, the really important factors, the black box scenario that we don't want, for example, to deny somebody a mortgage or a, an insurance policy because of the work that the AI has done. So having the human in the loop across all of that is really important. <laughs> So every country around the world is grappling with how they can take advantage of AI at both a government level, society, but businesses as well. And I'm traveling everywhere at the moment. Um, the Middle East, so different what I'm experiencing in Jordan and Bahrain and Dubai compared to say North America um, and parts of Europe. Some of it boils down to the politics you know, is it a benevolent meritocracy? Is it, um, you know, a democratic organization? So, you know, that will change and alter the way that organizations are set up and the freedoms that they have and the grants that they're given and so on. Uh, culturally, you know, it's going to be about how risk averse they are. But actually, I would say that with exception of the politics, it's more to do with the 
how risk averse a sector is. So the banking sector all around the world is pretty risk averse. It's not so different in North America to say parts of Europe. So I think you've got a mix of the cultural side of it that's to do with the country and their norms and their values and their political sort of side of things. And then you've got the other aspect, which are the the impacts on the the sector, the sectoral impacts that again are linked to more different different factors such as um, such as risk. So I'd say that you know that's really where I would come at that uh, particular area. Great question to finish with. Really that. AI is not the big shiny robot coming and taking all of our jobs. It's reshaping the world of work, the world of business. It's changing the world. It can be used for great good and you can't afford to ignore it anymore. And what I do is delve into the particular industry sector and really tailor my material for them, guide them through in a very empathetic way awaken them to the reality of what AI is and give them some really pragmatic, energized steps with my scorecard that they can go away, gamify with their teams and start to implement. Mm -hmm.